your channel for you to obtain the information so you're armed with this information so you can devote the juvenile the, no, 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 that, that has, ma'am, listen, that has nothing to do with it. The, 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 the issue is that I, when I went to that office, I went to that office to see what's going on because they, uh, I wasn't getting any information from anyone else. So when I went to the criminal investigation unit, I said, well, they, since this is a major crime, this is a major crime, it had to go through that office. And this... Ma'am, well, that, well, that's what I should have been told then, that, that, that you guys, why was I in the office 51 minutes? If I was supposed to... I don't know what was said and what was presented to the detective. He was just probably trying to get to the bottom of it, and then when he determined it was an MPD arrest, that's when he had told you it was Milwaukee Police Department. I mean, sir, this had what? At least what 24, 34 years ago. That's a long time. Okay, so why? So why? So why? So yeah, that's a long time. So why is it showing up on paperwork if, if that's the case? If it was a long time ago, why is it showing up on my paperwork? If I supposedly done this or whatever is is just old, why is it showing up on my paperwork? Ma'am, that's it's not on my record. It don't exist. It's a made up charge. It's a made up charge. That's this. It's it's a it's a made up charge. I don't know what 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 more what more can I um say about this situation. I mean, this. I mean, you are internal affairs. I mean, you're investigating you you you're investigating me. You're investigating me. You're not investigating the issue. You gotta call. I mean, you gotta talk to your people and see if they done something wrong. You trying to you trying to tell me what I'm doing wrong or why where I should go or sending me off somewhere. You know, you have to talk to your people and make sure that they done the right thing. I've done all that. I've done all that. I've done all that. They already told me. They already cleared it and said that they made mistakes and, and, and they can't find anything on me. And there is no record of me done in doing uh, this type of crime, man. There's no record of it. There's no record of me doing that type of crime. And you can call the juvenile and Josh Stibe is the manager. Um, I've been dealing with them the last four months. I got a recorded message, to, uh, messages, and I also talked to them in person. They told me, well, well, because I went down there twice, uh, three times to fill out paperwork for them to try to find whatever it is they say that's on me. And they now they call me and say it don't exist. There's nothing on me. So there's nothing on me. So, basically, you got to talk to your people and see where did they get their information from to say something on me. I told you he made it up on, on the spot. I wasn't joking. But I think in, I'm, what I'm thinking is that I just need to talk to a lawyer and, and, and go from there. I'm just doing a chain of command. I'm calling the internal affairs to make sure that, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm letting you guys know what your people is doing. You know what I mean? Don't don't try to look at my education and say, oh, well, he didn't this and that. I produce professional music. I have CDL license with hazmat. Um, I, I played semi-pro football since I was 35 years old without a high school education. Okay? And, and I read over 150 books. You know what I mean? So, and I'm a certified welder. You know what I mean? And I got hazmat on my license. How many of you got hazmat? So don't look at my education or look at it, uh, or the little crimes that I did and, and, and think that I'm ignorant to the law or think that I'm ignorant to the situation. Okay? I'm not. Okay, sir. 
I'm just trying to direct you. No, do your job. Do your job and tip your people. Don't direct me. Direct your people about the mistakes they made. About dealing with this situation. Don't try to sweep it under the rug like it's, it doesn't make sense. Your people have committed a felony. They committed a felony. You're going to charge me with a felony for people breaking in my house. But you're not, you're not, you're not you're obeying the law. They obeyed the, uh, they obeyed the law. They didn't obey the law. They broke the law. You don't put me in prison for three years for, uh, for protecting myself in my own house. But you don't want to go and okay, reprimand. Nothing to do with that. Okay. okay. You even in our jurisdiction. Okay. Well, well, exactly. But your jurisdiction gave them influence to lock me up for twenty-seven months. Your jurisdiction, the the people in your office, um, came up with paperwork, went in the computer, the NCIC database, and put and put faulty, false information in there, and then they go in and take it out. That's something that you have. You got to do your job and investigate who done this, because I'm gonna make it go viral. It, I mean, it don't make it. I will. I, I know what's happened. I'm recording everything. We don't own that database. All of law enforcement uses that database. It's okay. not ours. It's not proprietary. It's okay, not but you guys, database. but you guys put can put things in there and pro can program things in there. So don't tell me that it's not, I know it's not your guys' database, but you put things in there. You put things in there. And what you put in that database was not true, was false information. Was false information. So I don't know, even know why you even called me back. If you're going to call me back, what, 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 why you even call me back? You should be calling the crime criminal investigation unit and see why they did what they did. Not me. So I don't know what to tell you. Why are you even calling me? I was calling you to provide you with some information as to how to try to get this record. Already got that information. Already got that information sold up. What you need to do is find out how much information that I got. I know everything. There's nothing about my situation that I don't know about. Nothing. So what happened is, what it is, is the state of Minnesota, once again, has got people in Wisconsin on a puppet string thinking that I'm stupid, but they know that I'm not stupid. The state of Minnesota know I'm not stupid, but they think you guys are, and they plan you guys like a string, whatever kind of kickback y'all getting. They know, they, they know I'm tracking it. So basically, they just taking attention off themselves and putting it on Wisconsin on every level. They even got, they, they even got to you now. Why are you even calling me? Now, what, what a law, basically your lawyer should be calling me, telling me to settle down or trying to settle up. Don't call me with nonsense. Like it's my fault. It don't exist. I didn't do this. And, 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 and your people in your department has committed felonies. Don't try to catch me up in jams. Or anything like that. Okay? You took three years out of my life. You helped influence to get me three, almost three years. This state here. That building there. So I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. All I can say is that, hey, uh, you be hearing from my lawyer or something. Or I'll be hearing from you guys, lawyer. Or, or, or just, or like I said. You keep pissing me off, I'm going to put everything on Twitter. I have even put not even 25% of the stuff that I have on Twitter. I'm being nice. So, I, I, is there anything else you have, ma'am? No. Okay, well, th well, can I have your name? Mary. Mary, that's it? Yes. Mary from what department? Internal Affairs. Internal Affairs. All right, thank you, Mary from Internal Affairs in, in Milwaukee. I, don't, I, I have nothing else to say. Okay.